All right, as a project using uh, one of the simple textures that we created, I did have a question in the 2D game art about how to do a game coin. So I'm going to take the gold texture that we created and create an asset out of that. Now, by no means do you need to use a texture specifically for this. Uh, you could just use a bright yellow color, uh, or you could use like the brush metal one we did. You could take the brush metal one that we created, and instead of doing a motion blur on it, you could do a radial blur on it and have a base texture specifically for coins. In the end, none of that really matters. All that matters is that we have something that we want to use, and we're going to create a basic texture out of it. Now, I need a flattened image of this, but I don't want to collapse my PSD because it's part of my texture library. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control shift alt e and we'll see that Photoshop basically takes a snapshot of all of our layers as if it were flattened and puts it up on top. And that's perfect. I'll go ahead and create a new document. 1024 is fine since it matches our texture. I'll go back here with that layer selected and I'll hit and I'm going to uh, grab my marquee tool on circle I'm going to start up in this corner I'm going to hold down shift and drag it to the opposite corner that'll make a nice round selection for us I will hit control C go over to my other layer control V and we have a nice round shape to start with. Now, I no longer need this one, so I can just get rid of it. And when it asks, I don't need to change anything because I want it to go back to the base that I had. All right, now let's make a coin. This is pretty simple. We've got our first layer, and the very first thing I'm going to do is duplicate this. And uh, when you're taking your time, you know, do as I say, not as I do, and actually name your layers. And we can say, coin back, call this one coin inner. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a layer style to this inner one. No, I lied. That's not the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to hit Control T for transform. And I'm going to come up to my transform bar, and where my width and height are, I'm going to change those percentages to 90%. Hit enter to accept that. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the recording, but on yours, you'll be able to make out this faint line. And that's just fine. Now, I'm on this layer. I'm going to go ahead and lay, add a layer style to that. So I'll double click. And I'm going to go to Bevel and Emboss. Move this off to the side a bit so we can see what we're doing. Right now, uh, it's on up, so it looks like it's pushing up. I'm going to change that to down. Size of, uh, in this case, about 30 pixels. And the soften is around 16. Now you can adjust this if you want it to be a really hard edge. You can make that very hard. You can make it very thin. It's basically just your taste, whatever you want to do. So somewhere in that 30 for this one. Push this up towards the top so it has a kind of scooped look to it. And we're pretty good. Now, if you just want a plain Jane coin, there you go. But we can also add something to the inside. I'm going to come over and I'm going to choose my custom shape tool. I'm going to look around at what I have here. And maybe we can do a heart. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, it'll be all right. So I've got preserved proportions on, so it looks like it does in the picture up here from center I know that this is a thousand pixels high so inside here is somewhere around 700 and I wanted to fill most of that so we'll just plug in say 600 and click OK 
and it didn't go from center but that's alright we're just gonna move it down and there we go we lock it into the center now I'm gonna rasterize this layer I'm gonna take the fill down to zero and then I'm gonna add a layer style to this too and pretty much the same settings as we had just so it all looks coherent but this is pressed in if you want it in that's fine or we can push it up and we've got a pretty decent little game coin now we could add another layer and put in some text like you win or plus 10 points or whatever you want to do and if we back this off we see what we get generally in this type of thing you're not going to use a 1024 texture for this so I'll go to image image size and I'll knock this down to you know, 256 that'll shrink it down because we always want to work from bigger to smaller when we're working on game assets so that's not too bad we can go in and uh, push the values a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and make another uh, copy up on top so I can play around with that we can do maybe a little brightness Yeah, I don't think I'm really going to mess with the contrast. You could always go in and play with some levels. Can make it darker. Can make it lighter. It's really kind of blown out at this point, so we don't want to mess with that too much. But again, if you're doing something like the previous 2, 2D thing, I would just use a simple bright yellow instead of all this detail. And that's going to be something that matches a little bit better and you're going to be able to control the blowout a little bit easier. If we take it down to something roughly a game size, we can see we've got that. We can always add, uh, we'll have to get rid of this one. We can always add some more things to the layer styles that we've done. We could do a uh, oh, outer glow, maybe. And I could bring this up so I could see it better, but I really kind of don't want to. I want it to be down around game size and see what I'm looking at. We could do drop shadow on that layer if we wanted. Which I don't particularly like, just for the record, but we could do that. We could grab our base layer, put some layer styles on that, like maybe some outer glow which you really won't be able to see very well in here with the transparent background if I really push it up crazy yeah, it's still make the color bright yellow and if we zoom in now you can see that we've got a bunch of yellow glowing off that so it's really up to you what you want to do but these are the basic layer styles to create a simple coin like that and it shows us grabbing one of our base textures and actually applying it something. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next video.